I love my school uh, and uh, the they uh, in other school they say uh, I mean they draw on the board and say this is a tree but uh, in our school they uh, they just show a real tree which is uh, uh, we we like we should see the tree and uh, we should feel it so the uh, it can it uh, becomes so natural and um, very friendly that's it any initiative or any new thing starts because people who take that initiative uh, they feel there is a need for change and when we look at india's uh, education system the results are reflected in the society the societal health and many of us who are part of the founding group uh, we were all bothered and worried and concerned about the state of the education system which is reflected in the society the health of the society is bad health of human beings are not really good we are not living a wiser uh, life and we are getting into extremely materialistic dimension which is again not conducive to the ecological sustenance this is some of the dimension of the society which we are bothered about when we are looking at the education system itself the focus was more and more shifting towards achievement of a graduation or a degree or a certificate or finally culminating into a profession or a job which gives them earning and it is not just the earning that was the matter for most of the people when it comes to education it was earning more and more and more so basically the focus of education system was not on to the learning and because of the focus being on to the the certificates or the job or anything and people also moved towards extremely competitive dimension and the answer was starting our own uh, uh, place of learning because we can't change the whole system at least we can be a part of the system which can trigger a change so that was the the idea behind starting a learning space um vignana anadu ಪುಸ್ತಕದಲ್ಲಿ ಮಾತ್ರ ಇರುವಂತಹ ವಿಷಯ ಅಲ್ಲ ವಿಜ್ಞಾನ ಅಂತ ಅಂದರೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಸುತ್ತಮುತ್ತಲು ಏನಿದೆ ಅದನ್ನು ಕಲಿ ಕಲಿಯೋದು ವಿಜ್ಞಾನ ಅಂತ ನಾನು ಅಂದ್ಕೊಂಡಿದ್ದೀನಿ ಈಗ ಉದಾಹರಣೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದರೆ ನೆನ್ನೆ ಮಕ್ಕಳಿಗೆ ಈ ಹಕ್ಕಿ ಗೂಡು ಸಿಕ್ಕಿದೆ ಈ ಹಕ್ಕಿ ಗೂಡು ತೊಗೊಂಬಂದು ನೆನ್ನೆ ಮಗು ಇದು ಒಳಗಡೆ ಇರುವಂತಹ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ಏನು ಇದು ಯಾವ ಪಕ್ಷಿ ಗೂಡು ಇದು ಎಲ್ಲಿತ್ತು ಹೀಗೆ ಬಂದು ಮಕ್ಕಳ ಜೊತೆ ಮಕ್ಕಳ ಮುಂದೆ ಎಲ್ಲ ಹಂಚಿಕೊಂಡ್ರು ಸೊ ಇದನ್ನು ತೊಗೊಂಡು ಬಂದು ಇದು ಸನ್ಬರ್ಡ್ ಗೂಡು ಮತ್ತು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಒಳಗಡೆ ಇರೋದು ಸಿಲ್ಕ್ ಕಾಟನ್ ಅನ್ನುವಂತಹ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ಲು ಇದು ಏನಕ್ಕೆ ಅಂದರೆ ಮರಿಗಳಿಗೆ ಒಂದು ಕುಷನಿಂಗ್ ಇರಬೇಕನ್ನುವಂತಹ ವ್ಯವಸ್ಥೆ ಇದು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ಇದನ್ನು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಅವ್ರು ತಂದಿರುವಂತಹ ಈ ಥರ ಕಲೆಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ನ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಇಡ್ತಾರೆ ಮತ್ತು ಈಗ ಏಳನೇ ತರಗತಿಗೆ ನೆನ್ನೆ ಬೀಜ ಪ್ರಸಾರ ಅಂತ ಹೇಗೆ ಸೀಡ್ ಡಿಸ್ಪರ್ಸ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಅನ್ನೋದ್ರ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಅವರಿಗೆ ತರಗತಿ ಇತ್ತು ಇದು ಮಕ್ಕಳು ಅವರು ಇದಕ್ಕೆ ಕಲೆಕ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡು ಬಂದಿರೋದು ಅಂದರೆ ನೋಡಿ ಇದು ಬೇರೆ ಥರ ಸೊ ಇದು ನಮ್ಮ ಇಲ್ಲೇ ಗಾರ್ಡನಲ್ಲಿ ಸಿಕ್ಕಿರೋ ಅಂಥದ್ದು ಸೊ ಇದನ್ನು ಕೆ ಏನಕ್ಕೆ ಹೇಗಾಗ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಇದನ್ನು ಬಂದು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಚರ್ಚೆ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರು most of the school prefer to join tuitions or other things so that they will be more good in the syllabus but in our school most of no all the teachers told us to don't join the tuitions because the workload will be so much and so we are studying here also then going back to school, the tuition and they are also studying so it's a lot of a bundle of a workload so in that case i thought that uh, it was more so useful to me because um, when i finished the school and came back to home it was 
like uh, now I have some peace to study my, it's myself. So studying myself uh, make make me more extrovert, introvert to extrovert. And even though everybody, uh, even every single parents ask me uh, which uh, tuition are you studying or uh, after 10 what do you want or after 10th which college are you joining and told them, uh, said that hey don't join that, uh, it's, a, it's a bad course or don't take it that. Uh, like, but in our school, the most of them told said that uh, follow the to follow our passion, passion so that we can succeed in life. So uh, it was a good memory. So that was the main reason for us to looking for Kannada medium schools. Adri Jotege, illi practical agi hail kotarenta, take hail patu. Tumba school a for apple, B for ball, he ke kalibekito. E school a la thraila, Magu ke salpa exposure jasti sigate. Unkondo now in Madidwe, hage exam in Matta E school na approach Madidwe. Bandwe environment no degree. Adu Jote Gotaitu, teachers who as to Makil Jote Tumba stricta gilanta. And they in Marconde Verbekivato, Iva Thomas Nin Kayalaita, Madu Ilande, Bido, and no approach to e school. Bere school ali ni homework madlilande punishment for the A model light. Sonamge Adu A method beda agito. Punishment mode another beda agito. So the second choice sick namge. Okay, teachers are very liberal here at time. So, that's what I thought. So, I confirmed the thought process. I confirmed the mother tongue. I the punishment. I liberal. So, now I have to go to Very intuitive thing was is to have you learn in your own language. That is a very intuitive thing. But the society we has been this drifting away from that and then moving towards medium of instruction being an alien language or a foreign language or not our own. So uh, that has also put a pressure on our own thinking because uh, does the society accept it or the, the, what does the society need. Beyond that we want to really look at it from a scientific perspective. What has been uh, promoted by educationists, educational scientists, educational philosophers or even Indian educational policies like the NCF National Curriculum Framework 2005, this, that was our reference when we started the school. All of these as, as I mentioned talk about providing at least the basic primary education in one's own language or the language of the land. Okay. So, the, the answer became very simple for us. When we looked at all these dimensions, we said obviously it has to be Kannada medium. That is such a simpler and intuitive answer. It's a very different opportunity. Uh, we are not uh, we are not afraid of our teachers. It's like a home. We we can talk about uh, whatever we want to talk. We can talk with our teachers. It's uh, they are very friendly with us. Uh, it's not like. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm a stranger and they are also a stranger. I, I didn't feel that, uh, that thing. I think I'm in class, uh, class second or third. Uh, at that time, we painted our kutira, you know. Uh, we painted that uh, kutira by ourselves. Uh, it's, a, it's a very good memory, uh, but now it's not there. But uh, it's a still like, uh, the students only painted it and learnt a lot. Nam 
ಶಾಲೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಮಕ್ಕಳಿಗೆ ಹೋಮ್ವರ್ಕ್ ಅನ್ನೋ ಪದನ ಬಳಸೋದು ಇಲ್ಲ ಮತ್ತು ಕೊಡೋದು ಇಲ್ಲ ಯಾಕೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಮಗುವಿಗೆ ಶಾಲೆಯಲ್ಲೇ ಸಾಕಷ್ಟು ಸಮಯ ಸಿಗುತ್ತೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಕೂತು ಕಲಿತು ಮತ್ತು ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಏನಾದ್ರೂ ಅನುಮಾನ ಇದ್ದರೆ ನಾವುಗಳು ಇಲ್ಲೇ ಇರ್ತೀವಲ್ವ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ಆ ಮಗು ಇಲ್ಲೇ ಕಲಿತು ಅದನ್ನು ಬರೆದು ಹೋಗ್ಬೇಕನ್ನೋದು ನಮ್ಮ ನಿರೀಕ್ಷೆ ಆದರೆ ಕೆಲವೊಂದು ಸಲ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಅಂದರೆ ಕೆಲವು ಮಕ್ಕಳಿಗೆ ಎಲ್ಲ ಮಕ್ಕಳು ಒಂದೇ ಸಮ ಇರೋದಿಲ್ಲ ಅದನ್ನು ನಾವು ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಬ್ಯಾಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕಾಗತ್ತೆ ಒಂದೊಂದು ಮಗುಗೆ ಕಲಿಕೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಅಥವಾ ಏನೋ ಒಂದು ಟಾಪಿಕ್ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟು ಬರ್ತಾ ಇಲ್ಲ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದಾಗ ನಾವೇನು ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಅಂದರೆ ಆ ಮಗುಗೆ ಮಾತ್ರ ಚಟುವಟಿಕೆನ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಹೆಚ್ಚು ಕೊಡ್ತೀವಿ ಯಾಕೆ ಅಂದರೆ ಒಂದು ಹಂತದ ತನಕ ರಿಪೀಟೇಷನ್ನು ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡಲ್ಲ ಅಂದರೆ ಈ ರೋಟ್ ಲರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಅಂತ ಏನು ಹೇಳ್ತೀವಿ ಟೂ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಟೂ ಫೋರ್ ಅಂತನೇ ಕಲಿಸ್ತಾ ಕೂತ್ರೆ ಮಗುಗೆ ಬೇರೆ ಆಯಾಮಗಳ ಪರಿಚಯನೇ ಆಗಲ್ಲ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ನಾವಿಲ್ಲಿ ನಮ್ಮ ಶಾಲೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಹೋಮ್ವರ್ಕ್ ಅನ್ನೋದನ್ನು ಕೊಡೋದಿಲ್ಲ ಚಟುವಟಿಕೆಗಳನ್ನ ಕೊಡ್ತೀವಿ So appreciation of art and getting involved in art is a very important uh, nature, a very important dimension of a human being. The society, societal human being is actually uh, into art of course when it comes to living in the communities. So appreciation of art and involving uh, in an art evolves the human being. So another uh, dimension is specifically when, it when we come to the art uh, integration, we have uh, teaching of tabla to kids because that evolves the rhythmic approach in their mind and uh, why only tabla, why not any other rhythm uh, instruments. In the environment where we, are, where we are living, it's easy to introduce tabla uh, compared to any other instrument because other uh, rhythmic instruments sometimes are much more difficult to teach in a school environment. and uh, from where everyone goes through a music uh, learning of music music does not mean i'm talking about a classical traditional classical music learning of the, that is evolved from the classical music but kannada has a fantastic tradition of sugama sangeetha or bhava geete and uh, we make children sing lot of songs that improves their vocabulary that improves them appreciate the music they it improves their uh knowledge of the whole surrounding because lot of poems lot of uh, literature have, have been part of our singing tradition in uh, karnataka that's also one of the important things so all these dimension also in, uh, together at a higher level of uh, higher classes basically when the children goes beyond 10 year old we will also expose them to maker space which we have started almost 2 years back where it's a mini workshop where we the kids will work with the tools and with the uh, wood or metals or electrical etc with the right guidance and the protection so all of these together bring in a holistic and multi dimensional learning process the school when i was third standard um, i learned uh, lkg to second standard in pushkarni it was uh, like uh, western schools uh, in this i feel natural uh, we have to go inside our classroom uh, removing our slippers but there we had to wear shoes to enter the classroom and uh, we have to eat uh, we have to sit and eat here but uh, there we had to sit in our classrooms in and eat in uh, eat sitting on the bench and uh, s- there was no curricular uh, activities there like uh, uh, drawing or uh, craft or uh, tabla but uh, here i have uh, like opportunity to learn more and uh, more of curricular activities in our school there uh, uh, they teach us out of the syllabus we also uh, present 
कलिका प्रदर्शन लाइक वी टॉक अबाउट आर स्टडीज एंड वाट वी हव लंट इन द इयर फॉर स्कूल एंड एंड वी आलो प्रेसेंट ड्रामा एंड वी सिंग वी डांस एंड एव्रीथिंग लाइक दैट एंड 